endothelial function has an important role in the normal vasomotion of the blood vessels and endothelial dysfunction is seen in many cardiovascular disorders like hypertension, atherosclerosis and heart failure. Endothelium acts on the vascular smooth muscle through endothelium derived relaxing factors. Endothelium derived hyperpolarizing factor EDHF is one of the three endothelium derived relaxing factors EDRFs, others being nitric oxide and prostacycline PGI2. EDHF, as the name implies, hyperpolarizes the vascular smooth muscle cells, causing them to relax and produce vasodilatation. The action of EDHF involves the calcium sensitive potassium channels KCA. EDHF has been shown to be a major component of endothelium dependent vasodilation of resistance arteries of the subcutaneous tissue. Coates P and colleagues felt that nitric oxide and prostacycline had only a relatively minor role in the vasodilation of subcutaneous resistance arteries. Existence of EDHF has been proposed as vasodilatory response can occur even when the other two relaxing factors, nitric oxide and prostacycline, are blocked. Role of EDHF is mainly in the peripheral vascular resistance and organ blood flow. It is thought to be an important factor in regulation of microvascular tone. The exact chemical identity of endothelium derived hyperpolarizing factor is yet to be determined. Endothelium derived hydrogen sulfide is one potential candidate which acts through calcium ion activated potassium channels KCA. Low levels of EDHF have been noted in a study of 57 children with familial Mediterranean fever compared to 31 children as healthy controls. They also had higher levels of C-reactive protein as well as higher systolic and diastolic blood pressures.